Hey man, you heard about that new that new challenge? My nigga. What challenge are they doing now? Yeah, it's the kerosene challenge. It's really cool. You light yourself in kerosene and set yourself on fire. It's been getting millions of views on YouTube. Wait, really? People are lighting themselves on fire and running around until they burn out? What, man? It's for the views. We'll be YouTube famous. We'll be working or we pay for our medical bills. Nigga. Nigga. You telling me that people are doing this shit for YouTube views? YouTube don't even pay that much. What's up, y'all? Um, I was gonna react to some of the Warner Challenge videos, but I'm pretty sure the universe does, doesn't want me to do fucking reactions. Every time I do it, my computer goes crazy, it crashes, I have a brand new computer, I have Sony Vegas, shit just won't work for me. So I guess I'm not really doing a lot of reactions, I might be able to whip something out, maybe. There's a Kendrick and Weekend song I might do. My point being... Guys, it's wild. I just... Maybe I'm older now. It drives me crazy that people are doing fucking crazy challenges. There's the water challenge, the Tide Pod challenge. I saw something else, the Cardi B challenge. It's just these people... They're not necessarily kids either. Doing shit to get YouTube views. And the bad thing is, like, there are so many people doing it that the video they do doesn't even get a lot of hits. They're trying to get YouTube famous, internet famous. And you know, that's cool. That's a good goal if you want to do that, you know. This is not my full-time job, obviously, <laughs> with the way I upload, but I do it for fun. But if that's something you want to strive for, go for it. Don't fucking kill yourself over it, though. It's Friday when I'm recording this, so happy Friday. This is a drink. But yeah, y'all, I just, I see a lot of people, and it's... I would love to say, oh, white people are doing this shit, black people are smarter. But I looked at some water challenge videos, and holy fuck, like, everybody was black. So I just didn't get it, like, and it just drove me crazy, because I was like, why? Why are we almost drowning ourselves for views? You know, I'd love to say it's the younger generation, but I see people my age doing shit like this. And... I guess it's something with society where internet approval means the most, which I have a lot of internet friends, let's be honest. Like, I've met people online, you know, I have friends, I have people I can talk to over the internet that I've never met face to face, which is fine. But to try to get popular by doing something stupid, those aren't your friends. These people that you see around other people while they do stupid shit like the Tide Pod Challenge. Them not your friends. They're just laughing at you. This is me, obviously, being in my late 20s. This is showing, obviously. But yeah, y'all. Um, fun story, actually. So, rewind about three or four months ago. Me and my buddy were at our, one of our regular bars. And our bartender really liked us and was like, Hey guys, what do you want? I was like, hey, house bourbon. I was on a budget. He starts pouring Jameson. So if this is the glass, normally house is right around here. He pours the Jameson up here. I was like, okay. Keep in mind, this is a work night. For anybody that doesn't know, for more preface, I work for an eye doctor. So I'm drinking my $4 Jameson. I'm not complaining. I mean, it's $4 decent liquor. I look over and I see this girl and she's got a lazy eye. The only reason I know is like I said, I work for an eye doctor. I see a lot of people with lazy eyes. Well, what's the medical term? Amblyopia. A lot of cross-eyed people. It's what I work with. People with one eye or fake eyes. I look at people's eyes. She notices me looking at her. And I'm two or three drinks of Jameson in. 
plus whatever I had the night before, or not the night before, excuse me, that same night before that bar. You know your drink counter resets when you go to a different bar. So if you had four at one bar, then go to another bar, it resets. You haven't had anything. So she looks at me and starts sliding over to me. And I mean, she's kind of cute. For me, I'm... Drunk me is not as picky. So we start talking, but she starts hitting me. And it's not like, you know, fist, but it's like slap, slap, slap. And my instinct kicks, and I'm like fighting the urge not to like grab her hand and be like stop. She starts putting her legs on my thigh. And I'm like, oh, homegirl, I don't know you like that. Why are you doing this to me? And it just kind of struck me. I was like, were the roles reversed? I'd be getting carted out of the bar right now. And we started talking. Her friend's talking. I thought her friend was cuter. And she was like, I got a man. I was like, oh, well, can't talk to you. PSA, guys, don't talk to one with a man. That just save yourself the trouble. You know what? That's a PSA for anybody. Don't talk to anybody who's already dating or married. It's just, it's not going to end well for you. I don't care who you are. But she keeps talking to me and, like, I'm trying to have a conversation. Because I'm like, hey, you're kind of cute. Even with your lazy eye. You know, I can, you know, rock with somebody with amblyopia. It's okay. She keeps hitting me and feeling me up. And I'm like, why are you doing this? If she apparently is a counselor. And it's talking all kind of junk to me. And I'm like, don't try to psychoanalyze me while we're both drinking. It's not going to work. Because when I start drinking, I become philosophical. So I was ready for whatever question she brought at me. But yeah, y'all, that, that was a fun night. There are all kinds of crazy things that go on in the bar. But yeah, y'all, um, don't do stupid shit reviews. Please, make your own content. You know, react to things, do skits, you know, do YouTube for fun. You know, I'm doing YouTube just because I like it. I don't even know who's watching right now, but it's fun for me. But, yeah, I can tell it's starting to get to me. <laughs> yeah. Just press on, make your videos, make your good content. And if it's meant to be, you'll get a lot of views, and maybe you can become a full-time YouTuber. But I love you guys. We'll be our